And this is the second process after we've done the 250 degree heating on it. Still haven't addressed the leading edge for the wrinkles and stuff like that. You'll come back at 225 to get those out. But other than that, she's pretty well tonto. See my finger there pushing down on it? A little bit more than that. You see how my fingerprint goes away? Goes away? A little bit more tonto than that, but that'll be at the last stage where you do 350 degrees on your wing. Make sure when you do start ironing, you iron from the middle out to the butt edge and the fuselage edge, as I call it. Because what happens is if you start at one end and work your way to the other end down there, you will cause the structure to bend and more than likely you can break a rib or break your leading edge or cause structural damage, period, the end. So, that being said, I will come back and show you after the fact of me cutting the holes for these, you only want to make a slit as big as that metal is so it can just slide down over it. Because when you heat it with your temperature controlled iron or your household iron, it's going to expand that hole bigger. And you don't want them holes big. You want to keep them as small as possible. So, that being said, we'll give you one more quick Full view shot of the whole wing here. What it looks like in the second process. Leaving yourself at least a foot overhang. Because the bottom has to go all the way down and then wrap to the top of your butt edge and your fuselage edge. So when you wrap your other fabric that goes over the top it will have a one inch overlap. All right, I hope you guys liked the video. This is my Mini Max 1100R converted to a F16 look. Later.